CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to make this vintage inspired, very easy stocking. I have decided to make all new stockings for my family this year, and so this is what I decided to make. It's an old pattern that my great grandmother taught me how to do, so I'd love to pass it on to you guys. And like I said, it's definitely beginner friendly. The hardest part is getting it all put together, but I'm going to walk through every step of that with you, and I'm going to teach you how to do these wonderful squares, and yes, this is all made out of granny squares, so it's just absolutely wonderful. Now, you are going to need uh, four different colors for this, um, or you can make them any way you want, but to really make these uh, pop and to make them look really good, uh, you really want to change colors. So for this one, I used white in the middle. Then I used a multicolored yarn, then I used red, and then I used white again, okay? So, um, you know, you don't necessarily need four. You could use three. It's all up to you. But just remember that this outside color that you use is what you're going to be sewing together. So that's going to be um, the majority of the color for your stocking. So in other words, this one's background is all white because that's the color I ended on on my granny square. So just keep that in mind. Um, you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, you're going to need a darning needle or you might call it a tapestry needle. It's definitely important that you have one of these for this because like I said, we're going to sew all these squares together and then you're going to need a pair of scissors, okay? So let's get into the tutorial. So I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Hit that red subscribe button below and then make sure you hit the bell so you can get notifications about my future videos and I appreciate it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a green, a cream color, and or ivory and a red for this one so i'm going to be using three different colors as i said before you could use four you could use less you can do whatever you want to do okay so to get started with the square we are going to make a magic circle and if you need help with any of these stitches in this video i have a beginner video below that'll explain everything such as the magic circle okay so pull tight then you're going to chain three, and then you're going to put 11 double crochets into your magic circle. Two, three, four, five, six and 11. And your first chain of three counted as a double crochet as well. So technically you have 12 pull tight on your magic circle. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top of your chain of three. Now we're gonna cut off and we're gonna add another color. Now what I like to do while I'm doing this is I work in all my pieces as I go so that I don't have to sew them in later, okay? So now we're going to go into the red. Okay, so then I'm going to go right here where I just did that slip stitch, bring in my red color. Then I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna take all these pieces from behind, even the one from the magic circle back here, a little scraggly, and I'm gonna work them around here, okay? So I'm gonna do one more double crochet, and then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm gonna go into my next space, and I'm gonna catch all these in the back, around the back, so I have sewing them in. And I'm gonna do another double crochet, another double crochet, and then I'm going to chain one. And go into the next stitch, work one double crochet, another double crochet, and then chain one. And again, into my next stitch, one double crochet, another double crochet, 
and chain one. So that's what you're gonna do all the way around, two double crochets and a chain one in each stitch, all the way around, and you should have 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine, and you finish yours, and we'll meet back up in just a So we're on our last stitch here. So I'm gonna turn this over, and you can see where I've worked these uh, stragglies in all around as much as I could. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off, I'm not gonna cut off really close to the end, but I'm going to pull tight on these to make sure there's no kinks, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut right above, just like this, okay? And so now those are worked in, and that'll be on the inside of your stocking, okay? So now we're on our last one. Remember, we need 12 of these um, two double crochets around. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we're gonna go into this last one, do two double crochets, chain one, and then slip stitch to the top of our chain of three. Okay, and now we're gonna cut off again. Tie off, and then now we're gonna bring in our other color. So the other color I wanna bring in is our ivory, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start so that I can work in this yarn. Now, if you don't wanna work in your yarn in the back like I'm doing, and you just wanna sew it in later, that's fine. And in that case, it doesn't matter where you start. You just wanna start in one of your chain one spaces. But I'm gonna start right over here next to, right next to where I ended this. So it ended right there. So I'm gonna start right over here so I can catch that and sew it in. So I'm gonna bring in my white right here leaving a piece in the back, chain up three. Then I'm gonna pull these over just like that in the back and then I can work over them. Now in this chain one space, I wanna put two more double crochets after that chain of three. Now that chain of three counted as one double crochet. So technically there's three double crochets there, okay? Then you're gonna chain one. Then you're gonna go to your next chain one space and do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And you're going to chain one. Then you're gonna go into your next chain one space and you're gonna put three double crochets. One, two, and three and then chain one. Go to your next chain one space. And as you can see, I'm just working over the scragglies in the back. And we're going to do three double crochets and a chain one. You're gonna do that all the way around. And again, you want to have 12, okay? So right there, I've worked over that as much as I think is necessary. So I'm gonna cut off right there. And now that's worked in. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going around doing my three double crochets and chain one, don't forget the chain ones, and each chain one space, and once I get 12, I'll meet you back okay, up So again. we're on our last one here. So we're gonna put three double crochets in our chain one space. Then we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain of three. And now we're gonna cut off and we're gonna add our final color. And this is the last row for our granny square. And of course, it's not a square yet. This is the part that's gonna turn it into a square, okay? So just like I did before, I'm gonna start over here in this next one so I can pull this yarn through. Um, but you can start in any uh, chain one space that you like, okay? So we're going to bring in this last color. I'm gonna bring in the green. Then I'm going to chain three, and I'm gonna put two more double crochets. One and two. That technically is three because that first chain of three counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to put three more double crochets right back in that same spot. One, 
two, and three. And that's our first corner. Now we're gonna go into our next chain one space and we're gonna put three half double crochets. Make sure that you chain one in between each of these set of stitches. So after you do that corner, chain one, go into your next chain one space and do three half double crochets. And then chain one. Then you're gonna go into your next chain one space and put three more half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then chain one, and now we're going to do another corner. So you're gonna go right into this chain one space and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then you're going to chain two, and in that same spot, put three more double crochets. And then you're going to chain one, and then the next space, you're going to put three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, and then in your next space, put three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then chain one. And then in our next space, we're going to put a corner. So you're just gonna keep repeating that all the way around. You started with your corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Then you chain one, put three double crochets, chain one, I mean three half double crochets, then three half double crochets again, and then you're back at a corner. So you just keep repeating that all the way around and we'll meet back up together. At so the now end. we're on our very last stitch. So I chained one. I go into my next chain one space and put three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to slip stitch right into this first chain of three that we did right at the top there. Then I'm going to leave a long string at the end here before I tie off because I'm going to be using these strings to sew this whole stocking together. Now you're still probably going to need extra, but just for every one, I want you to leave a long string, okay? And then pull through and tie off, right? So what you're going to need is you're going to need 13 of these squares. You want to do them exactly the same way for each one, okay? Exact same color pattern. And then as you can see in the back, I've worked everything in as I went. And so now I don't have to sew anything in. So yeah, that's the way I like to do it, but you can do it any way you like, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out how we're gonna sew this all together. And like I said, this is the hardest part. This is a really simple granny square. So yeah, this is just, and, and, and it's really not hard. You can do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So I'll be Okay, right. so I've got my 13 squares right here all ready and set to go. I've got all my strands on them to work them in. And I just wanted to briefly show you how this works up, okay? So here's the stocking that I have finished. So um, I'm gonna show you this first and then we're still gonna work it together. But right up here at the top, you have two that are facing this way. One's facing this way and one is facing the front, okay? And they're like that. Then you have another one that's folded in half and it's right here, okay? Here's the kicker though. So we're gonna sew this all together, but we're gonna make sure that we leave the bottom open because this is a stocking. Okay, so we want to be able to put stuff down into it. So in order to keep sewing it together, we want to keep the bottom open so that we can keep adding stuff to it until we get down to the end and then we'll close it. Okay, so and so this together. So what we would do is, is we would not sew the top, not sew the bottom. So we would sew this together, this together, and this together. And then we have a side right here to sew together, okay? So that's how that will work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? And I'm gonna leave my 
camera up so that you can see. But um, just to show you real quick, so the next row would be two on this side. And this is just so the pattern will look pretty. Then you'll have two on this side. And then you'll have one facing this way. Okay? Just like that. Then you will go down here. And remember, you're keeping the bottoms open. And you will have two right here. And then you will sew these together. And then you will fold one and you will have one right here. Okay, still making sure that this stays open at the bottom. Then you will have one right here and one in the back of this one, just like this. And that will be there. And then you will have one on the side here, okay? And then you will have another one right there. So you see, this is how the stocking is made up and then you just show it, sew it all together, okay? So let's start at the top and I'm gonna show you how you'll sew this together, all right? So I'm gonna move all these And you could pause the video there if you wanted to take a picture of what it looked like so you could uh, reference that later when you began to sew it together. Okay, so to sew this together, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that this piece right here is where I can start sewing it, okay? And I'm wanting to stay away from the bottom and the top. So I need to start sewing on the side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto my darning needle and I'm going to just uh, pull my yarn through a couple of these spaces so I can get to the end. So if you're at a point like this where you want to sew and you need your extra thread that you left on in a different place, just do like this and pull your yarn through a couple spaces till you get to the where you want to start it. Okay, so right here is where I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna do a whip stitch. So I'm just gonna go back and forth doing a whip stitch. And whip stitch meaning I'm just going through every stitch that I can going back and forth. I'm trying to get under both V's if I don't, it's not the end of the world. It's still going to be beautiful. Okay. I just want to try to make sure that they are lined up well. Okay, and now I've got this piece left, but I don't want it to be hanging out, so I'm gonna go right through the middle, and I'm gonna go ahead and work that in. One, two, three times. Okay. And so, we've got that side worked. Now we need to put these two sides together, okay? So I'm going to start using this piece that I have. And I'm going to get to the edge again. One, two, and then maybe one more time. And I'm at the edge. And so now I'm going to bring this in 
and I'm going to sew with it as much as I can. Okay, and that's as far as I'm going to go. So then I'm going to bring this back through to the other side, and then I'm going to work this piece in. One, well, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to put that back on, but try to go through three times. And you can cut that off. And then you would keep sewing. And then you would sew this way, okay? And then you would have your piece up there. So that's exactly how you're gonna sew this together. So I'm gonna go over this with you one more time, okay? Because I really want you to be able to get this. So now I've showed you how you're gonna sew them together using your ends. If you ever need to bring in other yarn, it's no big deal. You just put the corresponding yarn, but just make sure you use the color that you're working with or closest to it. So you would bring in some yarn onto your darning needle. Okay, so like right here, I had run out of um, uh, yarn here. So I've got another one ready. So I'm just gonna go through just like I was sewing and I'm gonna leave a dangly piece right there. Then I'm gonna keep sewing till I get to the end. Then I'm going to go right back through, just like this, and then I'm going to work this piece in. One, two, and three. Then you can cut off. Now you've got this piece right here that you had brought in, and you do the same thing that you do with the other ones. You put it onto your darning needle, you go through and you work it through the three times. One, two, and three. We just wanna make sure that it never comes undone from where we've sewn it together. Okay, and so then the only piece I would have left to sew together is that right there. All right. So we'll lay that right up there. So we're gonna go over this, like I said, one more time. Okay, so this one, we started off with the two here and the one on the side. On this one, we start off with two here and one on the side. Just like that. Then you put two here, one facing this way, one facing back, right like that. Then you fold this one in half, and you've got that one that goes there. Then below, you have two here. And then one here. And one here. Okay? So you just sew them all together. And then there's a point where, let me show you this real quick because this can get confusing. Right here at the bottom, okay, there's going to be a space. And all you wanna do is hold it flat with your two fingers and sew it together, okay? So it's just basically sewing everything together. So I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna raise up my camera. My workspace is kind of a mess. But I just want you to be able to pause if you need to, to show where everything goes. The very top of the stocking, I brought in the major color that's going all the way through it. And I did four rounds of half double crochet, and then I added a loop, okay? To add the loop, all I did was I chained 20. I went back down with half double crochets 
and then I sewed it together right here. And the reason why I did this one a little bit different than I do my normal ones is because I wanted it to be nice and sturdy, you know? So I just gave extra stitches. So after I half double crocheted all the way down, I brought it back over here and then I sewed it on to the inside of the stocking. And I, like I said, I just did that to give it extra stability, okay? So, and this is not necessary. This stocking is pretty big. You don't have to put these four rows of half double crochets, but I think it makes it look better. So that's totally up to you. So I hope you found this um, helpful. I hope you like this video. I hope you make the stocking. Um, I've got a couple more to make. I can make one in a day pretty much um, if I'm not busy doing other things. Um, yeah, because these squares work up so quick. And these, by the way, are approximately about five inches across. So that's what you're gonna need if you wanted to use a different granny square or you have a different hook size or something's going on like that or you have different yarn. Just make sure that these are five, about roughly five inches apart, okay? And that's what I got with the yarn I'm using and the 5.5 .5 millimeter hook. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to find me. Uh, you can comment below, obviously, on YouTube, but you can also find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and I have a Gmail. All of that will be in the description box below. Uh, so just let me know. And hey, if you get any of these done or any of my work done, please send me a picture. And I think it's easiest to probably send a picture on Facebook, um, but you could on Instagram and Gmail as well. So either way, but if you share a picture with me on my on, on there, I will definitely post it to my Facebook and my Instagram so everyone can see your wonderful work um, if you're okay with that. So anyways, happy crocheting, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.